Hi there. Um, welcome to the Nurse with Needles podcast. At least that's um, the current name. We're still in search of a new one. Name in progress. Work name in progress. In, yes. Whip. Um, my name is Talia. I am your host, or one of your hosts. Um, I am also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry and on Plurk. I'm Marlisha. I'm known as Lady Fernico on Ravelry and on Plurk. Today, is, well, this is episode 22, and, well, it's not Monday. Um, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, October 24th, um, and it's still 2012. For the moment. For the moment. Um, so, uh, there's been a bit of a break. We usually podcast on Monday. Uh, we had errands to do because I was quite sick last week. Um, and we just had a lot of things to catch up on. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we are back into the uh, swing of things, and we're going to jump right into the knitting. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm a lot better than I was, but I still am going to need fluids, and there will be coughing and other random noises. But my voice should stay, which is great, because I completely lost it at one point on Monday. Okay, so the first project I'm going to talk about that I've worked on this week, and it's actually really surprising I've worked on anything, because I, I was so sick at one point that I didn't even want to think about knitting. I had it there, didn't touch it for like a day, two days, that's not me. Um, so, it's surprising I did get a lot of knitting done during this time period. I don't know how that, that happened. The first project I'm going to talk about... Oh, think you missed that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Is the one I'm calling legless. I'm really sorry. I need a tissue. <sighs> and I don't know if we'll be interrupted during this podcast or not. We didn't tell my other daughter that we were podcasting. My husband's coming home early. So if we have to pause, um, that's the reason. And we apologize in advance. Mm, actually, she planned that way on purpose. She likes interruptions. Not Many much. The more, the better. Anyway, <coughs> the first project I'm going to talk about is one I call Legless. It's the Vivian pattern by Yosal Teague. I am making it for me, um, size 36, which I guess is technically a small, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm using US9 Knit Picks interchangeable circulars with a 32-inch uh, cable. Um, I am using Stonehenge Fiber Mill. I'm so sorry, uh, Shepherd's Wool, uh, using a blue spruce colorway. For this pattern, you need to know how to cast on to knit to purl, to uh, work seat stitch to cable four back, to cable four front, to make one left, to purl two or three together, to purl front and back, Pass slip stitch over to slip slip knit, slip two together, to twist three or four back, twist three or four front, to knit two together, and how to work from a chart. You also need cable needles, a removal marker, and a zipper. And there is errata for this pattern, so be sure to look for that uh, when you're working it. It's probably about an intermediate level pattern because there are multiple charts to work from, and there is the errata to keep, to keep it to account. Um, <clears throat> so, since we've been talking about it, it is in my Knitting Sheep's Bag by Knitting My Bag. It's not going to look like I did much progress this last week, probably because I only did about a row and a half. This, it, it's slow going, it's a fun knit, but it is slow going. And also, I haven't, I mean, I only felt like working on a little bit when I was sick. And you can see the cables a little bit. Mm -hmm, the right side out? Yeah, the right side. I'm looking at the other side of the cables. And then here's the side we're looking at. Well, I was, I was looking at the fold over the why I was wondering. So. It's very pretty. 
I'm very happy so far. It just takes a while because there's so many charts to work from. This is not a mindless, I want to watch TV and knit. This is a, I'm listening to uh, podcasts and don't really have to pay attention to anything else but my knitting because there are multiple charts. Okay. The next one, I actually brought out the Nightwing shawl this time. Let me pull it over. I usually forget because I keep it in my purse. Um, <clears throat> so my Nightwing shawl almost didn't get worked on this week uh, because I usually only work on it when I'm shopping or when I'm at work. <clears throat> and I missed three shifts because I had to call in sick. So I didn't get my work knitting in until Sunday. Actually, no, I didn't even get it in on Sunday because... Um, I was a lot slower because it was my first day back after three shifts off. So I didn't get the knitting on that done until uh, we went call, uh, shopping at Martin's. And then it was like half a row, but it still counts because you guys haven't seen it for a while. It has grown quite a bit since the last time they've seen it. Yeah, so it's Nightwing Shawl, which is a set in a shop by Mary Lena Lynx. I'm making it for me. Um, I'm using US 4 Knit Picks Interchangeable Circulars with a 40 inch cable. Um, I'm using No Makers 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon Yarn in the Nightwing colorway. Um, I will be using Spring Tree Road 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Nylon, 10% Cashmere in the shades of black. Well, it's not shades of black color. It's in shades of black. I think it's uh, Jenny Lins Linsky or something like that is the colorway. For this pattern, you need to know how to knit, to purl, to yarn over, to chain. And then that's the knit section. For the crochet section, you need to chain, single crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, and do a combined double crochet. I haven't gotten into the crochet part yet. I wanted to do this pattern because it combines uh, crochet and knit, which you don't necessarily see on a lot of patterns. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. Although there is a toy pattern that I picked up for free that does combine it. That's a little elephant I was telling you about. They just did an ears crochet right. and um, and the body of it. It's a Susan B. Anderson pattern, I believe. Anyway. <coughs> so, Nightwing is in my handy dandy little Batman bag um, put out by the Clover Bird. Nice and smushable if it's in my purse. She has a good bag. Yes, she does. <coughs> and. Well, I mean, you can't really tell because it's all smushed. a little smushed, and it's. I was in the middle of a row when I. So that can't that can't come out because I'm. Yeah. Thinking, it, it, you're big and I do than I do. It's gotten a lot bigger. It's growing so, up. Yeah, it's taken it long enough. <laughs> it's going from Robin Nightwing. Well, he needs to become Nightwing a lot faster than he is. Can't rush the development. I don't care. He needs to become Nightwing a lot faster than he is. And he's a mature Nightwing. <laughs> he's, he starts out as a teenager's Nightwing. I'm pretty sure he started out as an immature Nightwing. <laughs> immature. 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 If I sound really off, it's because I have a really... My head is pounding, so I told you to take some Motrin. I don't think it'll help. I think it's weather related. But anyway, but that is that one. Um, the next project I want to talk about are my simple Spidey socks. I'm sure you're noticing a bit of a superhero theme here. Geek. <laughs> yes. Geek. I'm proud of it. Um, so the Simple Spidey Socks are actually come from the pattern Simple Skip Socks by Adrian Koo. I'm working them for me um, using US2. I have Clover DPNs written down, but I switched over to Knit Picks DPNs. Um, and I am using Desert Vista Dye Works. Um, I could have... I'm using a Desert Vista... With, there. Yeah? Yes. Using there? There. It's a new yarn color. No. 
I'm using a Desert Vista Dye Works yarn in the I Could Have Been a Superhero colorway. Um, for this pattern, you need to know how to cast on, to knit to purl, to knit two together, to purl two together, to skip, to slip stitch, to slip slip knit, to yarn over into Kitchener. And the pattern tells you how to do the skip uh, pattern. It's a different kind of stitch. It's spelled S-K-Y-P. Let me pull my bag over. In my Tangerine 8 Designs bag uh, with little no makers so all over him. <laughs> little lady gnome farmer. It's Amanda. Yes, it is. So, I have turned the heel, completed the gusset. Can't remember if I completed the gusset last time. I think I just barely completed the gusset. You're going to look like a sock now. It is. A toilet sock. It's a fingerless mitts, but toilet sock. There are such things. Yes, there are. And there are even socks that have little, like, flip-flop things. Yeah. So, that was good. this is the sock so far. Now, I did figure out that I had maybe done a... My foot around is about um, nine inches. Wait, nine inches? Something like that. Is that even half? No, it was like Excuse nine. A, around the foot. Mm -hmm. um, no, I know, but you had said that you had done it like a half an inch. I, I don't remember what the numbers were. I can't remember what the numbers were, but <clears throat> I ended up going with the working like the second smallest size. I should have gone a size above or whatever. I like tight socks, and I hate socks that slip on and off, so I go on a size smaller. I'm hoping that that'll work out okay. This has ribbing, like, all over, so I think that'll forgive any flaws. I'm going to do the same sock, the second sock the same way. Um, <clears throat> and if it doesn't fit, she'll get them. Yeah. They're going to fit. She'll make them. Might be ugly stepsister. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just punchy. <laughs> what do I see you having punchy? <laughs> I'm the one who's been sick all week. Uh, so, they'll fit. I'll make them fit. They'll be pretty. Um, look, look nice on your uniform. Yeah, I'm, I want to wear them with my uniform because they don't let you. We have to wear navy blue at work. Uh, Valley Health System has gone to, well, about a year ago, a little more than that, probably a year and a half, maybe even two years. Uh, they went to everyone having to wear a certain color scrub based on what their job was. So, like, RNs wear navy blue and so on and so forth. We used to do that in nice color. Yeah. I still wish they had gone with red. But. That kind of freak the patients out a little. Why? Red. Walk around with blood. Transport wears red. Uh, you got to be able to see transport. But, yeah, um, since we can't personalize our uniforms too much, <coughs> the only place you can really personalize are your shoes, your socks, and, I, and lanyards. And I have a Batman lanyard, so... Um, Only because she couldn't find a nightwing. Yeah, they don't have nightwing ones. It's sad. So Batman will have to do. Um, yes, he's thrilled. Of course, he'd be thrilled about being second choice. Actually, he wouldn't give a darn. He's, sure bu he'll he's busy doing his lace knitting. Yes, his lace knitting. <coughs> That's a challenge. Yes. <coughs> it's go for his parents' grade. Yeah, his um, yes. lace weight. His lace <coughs> weight shirt. <shot. coughs> okay. Yes. This is a lace weight blanket. Who puts a lace weight blanket over a grave? Who does a lace weight blanket, period? Oh. <laughs> but over a grave? Nice, nice blue. It's a comic strip. Yes. And we did post it in our funnies uh, area. We digress. Anyway. Um, so those are simple spidey socks. I actually worked a little bit on my purple people eater as well. It is the Amicarumi Purple People Eater. Shock. Really creative with my uh, name of my project. By Stacy Chalk. I'm making it for me. Uh, 
using size H Knit Picks Harmony Wood Crochet Hook. And I'm using um, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, Neons, in the purple neon colorway and in the um, fuchsia neon colorway. And I also am using, will be using Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, in the black colorway. And it's, that's a solid, not neon, because there is no such thing as neon black. Yeah. And white as well. Not neon white. Yes. So, um, for this pattern, I mean, you just do single crochet. Basically. Basically. In the, in the round. In the round. You increase and decrease. I mean, it's a simple pattern. All of her patterns are nice. And I love simple. I love Stacey Tars product patterns because you can have a relatively simple pattern and come out with these really, really fantastic toys. Make me happy. Okay, so not much has been done on it. You have stranding for this pattern, so it might make it a little more difficult than the average Stacey Chalk pattern. It's very bright, in case you can't see it on the computer screen. It looks it looks more purple. The pink looks more purple on the screen, but still pink. It's it's like a bright magenta kind of. Yeah, um, I did like a, a row, maybe two. When I was sick, I was like, you know, I don't feel like stranding, and I stopped. <laughs> but it just wasn't up to it. But it got a little bit of love, more than it's gotten in a while. I think I've just been lazy about stranding. Because <clears throat> I had a lot of stranding that I had to do when I did my grandmother's sweater across the top. So, there is the purple people eater. Ah, uh, then the heavenly sapphire, which I introduced last time. I finally started the uh, twin set sweat sweater and cardigan by Claire Montgomery for mom. Um, it's from the book. Knitting Vintage. It's a cool book. Aww. Um, It is a cool book. I mean, just do an impromptu uh, book review. Not only does it have like amazing patterns that are era uh, specific, like 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. I think it goes as far as 70s. Yeah. Yes, it does. That's a 70s pattern. Yeah. So. <laughs> the off the shoulder sweater. Um. So it goes like from 20s to 70s. It has era specific patterns. And then it talks about, at the beginning of the book, it talks about knitting and fashion. Um, well, actually, I was in the 30s section. Okay. Um, well, it talks about each sec, each area of, each era talks about knitting during that time period. And then um, they talk of, just about knitting and during the different eras. It's really cool. Awesome pictures. A lot of fun. You might want to pause it out here, Davina. All right, hold on one second. Excuse us. Okay, oh. we're back. <laughs> so, I was talking about Heavenly Sapphire, which is a twin sweat sweater and cardigan by Claire Montgomery. I'm making it for Mom from the book Knitting Vintage. I'm using Knit Picks Andy and Treasure in the Sapphire Heather colorway. And to be quite honest, I haven't read the pattern all the way through. Um, so I know that I need to know how to cast on and to knit into pearl, and I know that there's some sort of lace in there somewhere, but I haven't looked much, much farther than that. Um, so I, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I finished the swatch, I hit gauge, and it's really pretty color. Um, I ended up starting the ribbing for the cardigan itself. So after the neon it might look darker than it is, but it's so pretty. It's a really nice blue. Um so I'm really kind of my color. Uh, it's gonna be nice mindless knitting for a while too, which is good. Um it's nice to have a mindless sweater as well as a complicated mm -hmm. one on the needles. Because sweaters you know how people like working their toys, or their socks, or their whatever. Sweaters are my particular thing I like to make. Um, but they take a lot longer than everyone else's projects. <laughs> but that is that project. Let me see. I think I might have another one on here. Yes, I do have another one. And this is another one I introduced last week. 
Oh, I didn't show it bad. Well, I'll show that later. Um, the other pattern that I've been working on, I've been working on this a lot uh, this week, is Besk. This is um, my Patty the Pillow, Pillow Pony by Allison Cleaver. I'm working for me using US 8 Knit Picks Interchangeable Circulars with a 40-inch uh, cable. I also have uh, cable needles if I need to switch over to those. <coughs> but those are only clover cable needles because I don't have my whole Knit Picks cable needle set yet. Um, I'm using Yarn B Andy's Alpaca, the original yarn yeah, I originally got them for this. Um, but I'm using Yarn Beans and his Alpaca, uh, which is 85% acrylic, 15% alpaca, in the Arabesque colorway. For this pattern, you need to know how to do Judy's Magic Cast On or the Turkish Cast On to knit to purl, to cable four front, to cable six front, to knit two together, and to knit three together, to make one left, to slip. Slip stitch, uh, slip slip knit, to wrap and turn, and to Kitchener. This project, when they, um, in the written pattern, it says it's going to be about 13 inches high and 14 inches long, but I'm using a larger needle. They tell you, without giving too much away for the pattern, because <coughs> it is a paid pattern, they tell you that you uh, are to take a look at what needle size your yarn indicates and then go one to three sizes down. I went two sizes down and ended up with a size eight. Um, they ended up using like a size six for theirs so my toy is going to end up a little larger. Um, so it's going to be interesting how big it's going to actually be. And this is really, I chose it because it was a stash buster. It's cute because I have all this yarn that I meant for a sweater, and then I never, I decided not to do a sweater. So, hold on. Need to. Ha, okay, that's one. There's two. There's two. Okay. That's the leg. That's. The first leg, and it's not going to be standing on its leg. It's good, legs are going to be flopping alongside it. So it has a nice cable work along the leg. And they say it's an intermediate pattern because you need to know Judy's magic cast on and all that. Um, but, I mean, <clears throat> it's just a cable six front that's not that difficult. And I've just been doing it with DPNs, <clears throat> the um, cable one. And then here's the second leg that I've started. Oh, get a lot done. Did you more after a 60 last night? No, I didn't. I uh, switched over to your sweater, and then I worked on um, the uh, necklace sweater. So that pad, that uh, sweater, that uh, toy's been getting a lot of love. Um, yeah, and that's everything for me for works and rockers. Okay. Um, this has been. The week has been kind of crazy. Um, we had the end of the week before with my husband in the emergency room and then Ty being sick that the week afterward. So I didn't do a whole lot. Um, I was kind of semi-monogamous uh, in my projects. <coughs> the first, um, well, I, I'll show you that later. What I'm working on currently is uh, my Nicole, which is the half logging, half, half logging, login. yes, the half log cabin ombre blanket by Pearl Soho, my Nicole. Um, I have switched colors. Um, I have not done a whole lot on here yet. Uh, at this point, I'm just kind of. I'm hungry. Okay, you can see this is the the front, even though I have the pin on the other side. This is the front. So you can see I've got a little bit done, um, picked up the stitches, and I'm working the, the second color out of nine. I'm not quite as far as Nicole is, <laughs> but I'm getting there. She's uh, been very supportive when I say anything about it, so it's, it's nice. Um, I, I took it to the Daily Grind with me last night uh, after our 
preschool class for religious education. And I did a little bit there, um, but I'm not in any hurry. It's not time sensitive. It's basically my, when I don't want to concentrate or I can't concentrate, or I just, you know, for whatever reason, for like doing something simple, this is what I do. Because it takes a long time before I have to do the pick up stitches or change colors again. So this is, this is sort of my mindless knitting. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn for my stash in nine different colors. Um, and my 10.5 inch high, high circular needles. Uh, thick circular needles on a 32 inch cord. No special stitches really, all garter stitch. Um, the only thing, like I said, that might be a little bit, you know, dicey for people who are new knitters is picking up stitches and, uh, you know, and the changing of colors, but it's not all that hard. I mean, I, I don't know if I did it correctly or not, but it's done, and I did do it with a little uh, coaching from Taya, so it's not that bad. I did not work on the Blue Heaven sweater or the Claret shawl or the um, Lacey King Wolf scarf. I didn't do any of those. I did, however, work a little bit, very little bit, on the um, plum, excuse me, the plum put in stole um, for Davina. Um, that wasn't good. It's in my Tangerine 8 bag, uh, my Star Wars bag. Funny story about this. I walked into the Daily Grind last night with this bag. And uh, this one here, my lowest bag. And before I could even find a table, a mom came up to me and said, "Oh, where'd you get that bag? My son loves it. His son's about eight, maybe. Yes, yeah, eight, eight, nine. I guess he's a big Star Wars <coughs> person. So I said, "Well, if it, so I told her I got it. I said, "Well, do you, I said, do you know how to get on Etsy?" And she said, "Yes, she uses Etsy." So I said, "Well, this is Tangerine Eight Star Wars bag, and uh, Tangerine Eight Designs is the shop. And if you go there, you, she might be able to make you up another one." And she was really excited about it, and I, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. Somebody who doesn't uh, knit or crochet, the little boy, was very interested in the bag. So we gave uh, Casey's Etsy shop a plug. But um, the, the, I'm not going to even take my, my shawl out, because the sole out, because I really haven't done much progress. I think I've done one or two rolls, and it's not really worth showing you. So I'm just going to put that down. Um, but... It is a free pattern. It uh, does not require any stitches unless you want to switch colors. Unless you can Does it require any stitches unless you want to switch? Special stitches. Oh. Maybe there's cold cotton in your ear. Anyway. Um, then the whole thing may have stitches. Yes. Um, okay. She has successfully derailed me. You have to know how to crochet the back loops. That's, I have um, six. It's, I'm using uh, Caron Simply Soft in the Plum Perfect colorway and a size eye hook to, uh, to complete that project. Um, I'm not going to talk about the next project because that will go into FOs. And I have none, so it's your turn. Okay, FOs. My first FO with my um, Agunaquit Granny Afghan. Afghan. It's a, uh, I call it the uh, uh, Scrappy Three Quarter. Uh, granny Afghan, and I was testing it, testing the pattern for Anastasia Knits design group for Anastasia, who provided all those really nice patterns for our for our um, 50 well, member uh, 50 member uh, party, whatever we call yeah. that. So she's an awesome designer. This is a test pattern I did for her, and it wasn't. She didn't specify what size to make it really, so I just kept going uh, until I got to a size that I wanted it to be. Mine came out huge because. When you do this three-quarter granny, you're only working along three sides, and so it comes out rectangular. So it's really long and um, a little more narrow than, than might be expected for a granny. It's just, and it's a half square. I used um, uh, stash yarn, my Red Heart stash yarn left over from a blanket I made for my parents for their uh, Christmas gift, uh, plus a blue yarn that Talia had had. Um, left over from something that she was going to make. Before and I discovered that I despise making my <laughs> so I despise. So I used seven colors plus one, two, Hello. three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors including the white, um, the white uh, division. And it's not, the stitches are not hard. Basically it's a, um, a double crochet um, done in, um, I guess a fan. Three double crochet, and if we let me show you a picture of it. <coughs> this is the 
don't know if you can see it. That's the picture I have, one of the pictures I have up on my project page. And we can turn the um, computer around so you can see it on the couch. Okay. But you can see how it's a, um, it's not a full granny square, okay? And the thing I like about this is that if you, you can, it is modifiable. Um, but um, you have to do the modifications before you do the last bit of edging because the last bit of edging is you can kind of see. Um, it's hard to angle the. There we go. There it is. Okay. It's hard. It's the. You have to do whatever modification you might want to do to it before you do the last bit of edging because the last bit of edging is reverse single crochet, which gives you a corded effect, and you cannot add any more stitches after you do the reverse single crochet. Really fun pattern. Um, it's not available yet, but when it is available, you should check it out if you like doing blankets or granny squares or whatever. So that's my first um, my no, she said object. first to her. First of my finished objects. I think it's macro one. Oh, I don't is she was one me? Last week, I don't have any FOs. Me, 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 me. You were lining last this, week. I do not want. Yes. I you sound fact, just like that, too. Do not, in fact. Well, yes, I'm losing my voice. Anyhow, this is my <laughs> second. Losing your voice. This is Mr. Gobble Gobble. Gobbly Goop. No, Gobbly Goop. Not Gobbly Goop. Mr. Gobble Gobble. And hey, Gobbly Goop. <laughs> he, he was unexpected. If you, I don't know if you remember. I think I said something <clears> in the last <throat> podcast that I had mentioned to my husband about making a centerpiece for um, Thanksgiving, and he was like, oh, yeah, that would be great. Well, this is the first one. I don't know if I'm going to make a second one or not. I'd like to, but I don't know if I'm going to have time because I have other time-sensitive things I have to make. It's the um, uh, Thanksgiving Turkey by Hannah Kaminsky. I love this pattern. She writes a very clear pattern. It's, it's easy to follow, very quick to work up. I think I did it in two days. I had a layover in between, but um, because I had to finish my blanket, but it took me about, I think it would take me two days tops to make this. Um, I would make it again in a heartbeat. I, I'd hope to do another one, like I said before Thanksgiving, if I have the time. Uh, it's uh, All you need to know really to do, Mr. Gobble Gobble, is to chain I mean, single crochet, crochet in the round and attach pieces. I used, I love this yarn, worsted weight, and an F hook to complete the project, but I, I think you could probably use whatever yarn and hook that goes with the yarn that you want to use. Um, I've used, you see the back, there's a color that doesn't really show up here. You know, the dark brown, the, this is kind of a dark red, dark orange. orangey kind of thing, and then red, and then orange, orange. I guess the bottom one by the brown is kind of a rust. And if I do it again, I'll probably do the bird, the, bod the body of the bird in a tan so that it, you, know, you can tell the difference. But I had a blast. He's so soft. He's so soft. I love him to pieces. So that's Mr. Gobble. Gobble. Probably good. That. No, it's not Gobble. Probably good. So those are my FOs. Okay, which leads us to um, next on the needles. Um... I still want to work the Southerton eventually by Kathleen Danes, and I even have the yarn for it. I just have to get a few things off the needles. Um, I want to, as soon as there's a pattern out, I want to work the Master Chief Amigurumi. I know someone who's done it. She just hasn't written the pattern yet, and she's going to hopefully let people know when she does. I have, I'm in communication with her. And then eventually I'll do the catnip socks as well. But I have so much on my needles, I really shouldn't be starting anything else. Your turn. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to prioritize for what I'm doing. Um, I'd like to finish the stole that I'm working on before um, anything else. But having said that, I'd like to maybe do, well, I need to do a pillow for that blanket that I was telling you about for my grandparents. For my my Your daughter, grandparents. Huh? For my parents. My my daughter's <coughs> grandparents. Um, and I've been looking for, I found the perfect pattern, and I can't find the magazine that it's in anymore. So I'm looking for a different one. I may even try to make one on my own um, if I can't find what I want. Uh, I'd like to do a second uh, gobble gobble for Thanksgiving if I have the time. That won't be gobble gobble. It's not gobble gobble. No. Um, anyway, I have, I have deemed it. 
His name has already been registered. Well, it's wrong. Anyway. So Kimi doesn't change that. She's she's broken. Mm -hmm. um, Davina wants me to do Melvin the Misunderstood Monster by Carissa Cole, and I do want to do that um, for myself. And But um, I want to wait because um, Stacey Trock is going to be having a mystery cow, uh, and, and I, you know, one of her stuffed toy mystery cows, and I want to do that, and that starts November 1st. So I don't really want to put another toy on my hooks and my hook until um, until after I get that one finished. And I think she's supposed to finish it by December 15th. So um, I'll have plenty of time to work up Melvin if I have everything else accomplished for her for Christmas for Davina for Christmas if um, if I keep up with the pace that that, that Stacy sets and then work kind of exclusively on the Melvin. Um, I'm still wanting to do the Chevron Lace Cardigan by Nilobo for the cow and Anastasia Knits. I am <laughs> not going to make the cow, needless to say. I think it ends in November, and there's no way I'm going to be able to do that, but I still want to do the You might not even start it by the time the cow Yeah, right. I, I might not start it until December, but that's okay. And uh, I'd like to start the set in a shawl and do more toys, but like Talia, I'm trying to finish things up before I put more things on. Which doesn't mean that the next time I see you, I might not have started something else. Exactly. So, um, you know, that's basically my intentions at this particular point in time. Alrighty, which leads on to fashion hands. Yay! Please. Yep. <clears throat> so my bags from um, Pabalu came in, and I guess I'll start with this one. Uh, this one is huge. It's a sweater bag. Um, two sweater bags. So. <laughs> this is the back girl bag. I think it cost me what, $40? $35? $40. No, I think it was $35. Was for that one. It might have been $40. Mm -hmm. um, this is a huge it's bag. It's ginormous. It fits in it. Uh, let's see. That's her fiber that she's fooling around with. Yes. I have. I probably could have fit more than I have in here, but I have. My little, you know, tools, my DPNs, a notebook, two or three balls of yarn, um, my fiber fill. That's and, three quarters full. Yeah. In this bag, this bag is nowhere near full. You can see it's very not full at all. The zippers, now the aren't very big. The the pockets are in the front of her bags, not inside, which is an interesting design, and I actually, once I get used to it, I kind of like it. It's just... Well, it doesn't get caught on your yarn It there. doesn't get caught on my yarn that way. Um, sometimes I've noticed that I put my ba my stuff in my bags um, where the pockets are on the inside. My yarn will try to slip into the pockets that has my uh, pens or my um, tools in or whatever, and it can be a little annoying. This is an interesting change in design. This only fits small things, though, in this particular pocket. Probably because of the jeans, she was only able to work that. So this is my back girl bag. It's very sturdy. It's very sturdy. I could probably... Like the cockroaches that will be here yes. <laughs> after everything else is long gone. Um, now, it doesn't close necessarily very well, but that's only because the jean is uh, such a tough material. But the, her other bag closes amazingly well. And it does have the, um, the yeah, cord lock. Yeah, and it has a cord lock. It's just a little little hole on the top, which isn't a problem. And it has this little strap. So you can just sort of sling it over your shoulder. I mean, it looks, <laughs> it looks like a strap that you find on a duffel bag. I mean, it's supposed yeah. to be that sturdy. It's a very sturdy bag. The other bag um, is Nightwing, and she custom designed this for me because there are no Nightwing fabrics out there. Um, there's Nightwing. In all his awesomeness. Yes. Um, with his two... Nunchucks? Yeah, it's nunch It's nunchucks. I, I had to think about it. Yeah. It's common, it? No, it's a Screamer. Screamer, yeah. No, it's Screamer the other thing. What's the Screamer with the... No, Screamer's the other thing. Let's see. It's nunchucks. What is it that Michelangelo carries? Nunchucks. Well, it's not nunchucks then. Um... No, it is a Screamer. It's a Screamer. 
I forget what it is that uh, Raphael carries, but it's good in the, the little... Oh, I'm about to check. I can't remember. I'm a Nightwing fan. I can't remember what he carries. I'm pretty they sure... They look like nunchucks, but without the chain. But there you go. Um, this has a nice size zipper in the back. It's huge. It goes across the back of the the whole back. You can see my hand here. It's all the way, and it's fairly deep. It's a nice bag, um, and it closes very nicely. A little smaller than Batgirl. Well, I think that's a large, and Batgirl is an extra large. Um, and very nice bag. I have like the only Nightwing bag in existence. Unless she, unless she decides to make more of them. Yeah, but it, hers is the prototype. Yeah, mine's the prototype. It was made for me. So, very happy about it. Um, it's going to be a very favorite bag. <laughs> I'll be very sad if it ever wears down. I'll have to get her to make me another, another one. one. You have to do it in his other colors. No, it has to be blue. I don't want to. I, I don't like the new red colors. Yeah. It's not traditional night white. No, it's not. We're purists over here. But, your turn. Um, my stash enhancement, yes. Did you bring one too? Yes, I did. The first stash enhancement, um, <coughs> do this one first. I went, I went to Craftsy, of course I did. I went to Craftsy, and they had a deal for Pinktober, well, not for Pinktober, but for October, with yarn and a free pattern, a free $6 pattern. I decided I didn't like the yarn enough to buy the yarn and get the pattern free. So I went and bought the pattern. It's a $6 pattern. It's a pattern by um, Stephanie, Stephanie, no. Stephanie Chappell? That looks nice. Yeah, Stephanie Chappell. And she's the lady who does the crafty class for knitting that I'm taking. And you can see it's a really pretty pattern. It's a knitted pattern. Very simple for me, but you still get some pretty um, detailing, some lace on the side there and you can see the color also of the yarn. I'm just not a big fan of pink and it's a very pretty yarn I just don't like pink that much. So I did not buy uh, the yarn but I bought the six dollar pattern and I have it in my queue to start up and I haven't decided I almost bought some yarn but my husband made me promise not to buy anything for myself at least nothing major because Christmas is coming up and I have a birthday after that so he's like Slow down the stuff that you're buying. So I might just use one of the yarns I got in from Amanda from No Makers because her yarn is awesome. I got from Amanda mini schemes, mini schemes, mini schemes, mini schemes, schemes. I got mini schemes. They're Christmas colored. You can see Amanda from No Makers, the holiday mini mini yarn scheme bundle. And I think she calls this um, a maxi bundle because it has 11 little, excuse the crinkle, I don't want to open it up, 11 um, skeins, I think it has all her Christmas um, cool. colorways in it that she's developed for this year, I'm really excited, I can't wait to, yeah I do too, and there's a red and white one that's supposed to be kind of a striping yarn right here, there's a red, a red and white one and a green and red one, I think she said, that is a oh, kind a of a striping, red. yeah right there. So I'm looking forward to using this. I may have to buy another one so I can make an animal with it, the whole thing. Um, I just, I'm really excited about it. But the stuff I'm really happy about, and I apologize in advance for the crinkling because I haven't opened this yet, um, the yarns that I bought from Amanda came in. This is um, Gotham Knights because we are Batman people. We must have Batman colorways. This is, it's got kind of a brown, gold, green, purple Gotham Knights. It's really pretty. I don't know yet what I'm going to make with it. But it's really soft and squishy. Then this is, um, this is really like, I love this. I should have ordered the second one that she had. She doesn't have any more because it was a, um, a skinny dipper that was left over. And I thought it was just gorgeous. This is... 60% merino, 30% bamboo, 10% nylon, 434 yards. So there is enough to do a small shawl or a scarf, uh, scarf or socks. And that's, I was thinking that maybe that shawl that I was looking at might work well in this colorway. I think it would be really pretty. 
I've been fairly partial to greens lately, even though my favorite color is blue. And I think this would make a nice chalet. These were my surprise. And the colors have grown on me. I'm not a big fan of yellow, but the colors have definitely grown on me. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with these. But I do like them. They're very soft. There's also 434 yards in each of these, so there's plenty to make something with. Um, whether I use them together or apart, I could use this one with the green if I wanted to, or um, use this yellow possibly with the Gotham Knights. Or I could just use my green and yellow together. So I really, I'm excited about them. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. You do wonderful work. I'm excited about my schemes of yarn. And that, I think, is all I have for, I think that's all I have for, um, yeah, that's all I have for uh, stash napkins. Oh, so which leads on to, um, uh, Obsessions. Well, we're still in the toy along. Um, it goes from September 1st through December 15th. Uh, you can have knit toys, you can have crochet toys. Um, they cannot be, they have to be started no earlier than August, but they have to be finished in the September to December 15th um, timeline. Um, there's a chatter thread and there's a picture only thread, and we have a nice a lot of activity mm -hmm. in both threads. So. Some wonderful projects. Oh, beautiful projects. Yeah. So please stop by. Um, and um, the prize is two toy patterns of your choice, each no more than $10. And there is only one oh, winner. Yeah. Um, and if you are taking part in the Nurses with Needles Toy Along, be sure to add the tag Toy Along 2012 to your project. Um, and that way we can just see what you're doing, which is cool. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely enjoy the toy along. If you are making toys during this time period, you might win a prize. Yep, I mean, you can double dip if you're putting them in other things. Yeah. If you're, if you're doing the weave along over with Joni Knits or, or, uh, um, what is it that, uh, Dawn is doing over. Oh, I have no idea what Dawn's doing. A lot of people are doing things that have stuffed toys, or you know, if you're just making stuffed toys for gifts, enter them. That that would be great. Yeah, more activity the better. And right now the group is still Nurse with Needles. Um, make sure you're going to Nurse with Needles, not Nurses with Needles. Um, nurses with Needles is a hospital connected to some hospitals somewhere. So that's why I want to change the. Uh, podcast name. I don't want to keep you mixed up with nurses and needles. Um, so yeah, oh that's the other thing that's going on. Um, please look on the thread um, in the group about uh, changing our name. We are looking for suggestions. We have some fun suggestions already. Some really nice ones. <laughs> uh, but we'd love to see some more. See what sort of ideas, what you think we should call ourselves. And we might just have a prize. Um, Let's see, other obsessions. I told you guys last week about the Calendar of Hope 2013. Um, where you go to www.fitternitter.com and they have um, www.fitternitter.com and they have a calendar with dishcloths and stuff like that. To um, The proceeds from the calendar go to, to support breast cancer awareness. So and you, breast cancer research. If you um, if you need a calendar and you might be interested in those patterns or you just want to support, please, you know, check them out. Um, it's a really really um, good worthwhile cause. cause. Um, let's see. And other obsessions. Uh, yes, obsessed, obsessed. I say. The, there's the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ah. TV show on Nickelodeon, which is very good. Is it Nickelodeon? It is Nickelodeon. Oh, I thought it was on the hub. Okay. Nope, it's Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, Sean, <laughs> Sean asked, is Raphael? Yeah. Uh, which I it's can, adorable. <laughs> I well, well no, none of us can imitate Mikey's voice. Mikey's funny. Uh, they're, they're a lot younger. Which um, is good. Which is good because they're supposed to be 15. But, um... um and they're... They, 
they act like a bunch of kids, which is perfect. It's, it's great. I mean, you have to see Raphael making Mikey say, you're the best. You're the best. I'm not fit to walk the ground. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not fit, fit to breathe the air that you would breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Typical brotherly kind of it's great. stuff. It's really funny. And even Leo, who's the more responsible one, has that TV show he's obsessed with. Yes, yes. So it's Star- it's a Star Trek. Yeah, it's a, basically a Star Trek equivalent. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, you look at the cartoons, it's like they pulled it right off of the Star Trek cartoon, like from the 70s or 80s or whenever it was. Because you see Captain Kirk. He looks like Captain Kirk, but he doesn't call him Captain Kirk. Yeah, and it, it's, just, it's just great. It's, it's funny. Really well I mean, done. There, are, there are some discrepancies, like the fact that Shredder was never, um, not Shredder, um, Splinter was never a uh, a person. He was always a rat, but... It's something you're willing to live with, some yeah, of the discrepancies, yeah, just because yeah. the characters are so well done. There, yeah, and in case you don't realize that, you go, go watch it so you can... Yeah, they're yeah. only, like... I think they've just finished their episode five, maybe episode five or six. Yeah, it's it's, um, it's good. There's a new episode out. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good show. It's it's fun. It's it's fun. really enjoy it. And then my other obsession, when I got sick, I didn't feel like knitting, so I started reading again, and I re- started rereading my Timothy Zahn books, and I found out that Amazon has picked up all of its Timothy Zahn books on Kindle now. Hey. So. The ones I didn't have before I now have, including ones I haven't read, which is surprising because I thought I read all his books. So I'm very happy. If you are a Star Wars geek, you probably know him from having written the Mara Jade character, mm-hmm. for having created the Thrawn character. Um, yeah, some of the best characters. Oh, some of the best characters. Yeah. Um, so now I've, I've, from that I got into his book Angel Mass, and I got me to Icarus Hunt, the Quadrail series. Um, some of his original books, and he is one of those people who writes a book in first person. Which is throughout. great. That's so cool. And the Quadrail series is a series written in first person, and that's really hard to do to keep it. And he he does a very good job. He doesn't switch POV throughout either. He just does a very very good job. The man's a genius at characterization. Um, my favorite character isn't even necessarily the one he does first person. It's McMiking who is awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> for the Quadrail series. Uh, ex-Marine, ex-Bounty Hunter, can look like anybody. He's cool. Um, anyhow, that's obsessions. Okay, um, my obsessions. Toy patterns. The toy along, toy patterns. I am looking for any and all kinds of toy patterns. I like them, uh, and I'm having fun with them. Project bags, um, always. I'm always looking for new ones, and I do have to get a hold of Taya's friend, Diana, her name, Diana? Yeah, Pad- Padaloo. Pad- Padaloo, because I have at least one I want her to do for me, sooner rather than later. And, um, let's see, what else? No Maker's Yarn. Yes, uh, Amanda, I cannot look at your yarn yet. Um, I should back my wallet. Um, podcasts. I've been catching up with my podcasts, and... Stargate SG-1. I have just finished the first se- season. My husband bought me the whole... Now, she, by finishing, she means rewatching. We've already watched yes, all the Stargate yes. I just SG-1. finished rewatching the first season. My husband bought me the box set a couple years ago. And so I have been watching that when I've been doing some knitting and crocheting. I love, love, love that. Daniel is... Oh, Daniel is just awesome. Daniel, Daniel is awesome. Um, I like Jack too, and I thought Sam and Teal, but Daniel, Daniel is just Daniel, and ever will be forever and ever. Awesome. Hi Jack. Hi Jack. What you doing, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> gotta love Jack. I gotta love uh, Daniel. But um, so those are my obsessions, basically. You know that. Oh, and um, I've started um, my Christmas shopping. You know I've done a lot of crocheting and knitting for that and I'm still doing that but started so I don't have one fell swoop of bills trying to do my Christmas shopping. Yeah I'm starting to do that too. Okay um, I don't have anything for writing. You have the shared story. I have the shared story. I have not done any writing on it yet because yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. to finish the blanket and I did do yeah, some yeah, editing yeah. Of, um, <laughs> of, of writing buddies work I'm almost caught up, and having said that, I'll probably have a flood of people who need stuff edited, but I, I did some editing. I did 
negligible amount on my um, on my synopsis, but I need to get some done. I need to get I just get some done. I need to sit down and work on it. And I did block out some of my some of the shared story that will be going away when I write. So not a lot of writing, but not a complete washout either. Um, artwork, I actually have two artwork FOs. This one is, was actually drawn with pastels. It wasn't sketched out beforehand. And actually, it's going to look really shiny. I did this when I was right at the beginning of my being sick. So, if you can't tell. But she's feverish. It was supposed to be a self-portrait. It, um, it was completely drawn with pastels. And then... Master Chief and Cortana are finished. I'm not happy with how Cortana turned out, but that's okay. Um, it's hard. It's hard for me to do something that small in detail. Uh, but Master Chief, I'm fairly happy with. So that's done. I did a new drawing, and this is the paper Sun Country. This is the stuff I was talking about. That was so awesome. This stuff takes pencil amazingly. It doesn't leave annoying erasure marks when you use it. Get this paper. You should use that for patterns or she draw? She draws. Oh, you're going to show him. Yes. Even though he, uh, is he going to be miffed? He's going to be miffed, I'm sure. Uh, this is one of my characters. Uh, the first thing Mom says when he sees him is like, Who is she? Well, I was half, on my defense, I was half asleep. And all I saw was the ponytail. He wouldn't talk to me for a week afterwards. He's still not talking to you. Yeah, well, he has. And he is a character. It's, his name's Siev. Named the peacock's named the after peacock's him. The peacock's named after him. And it's very appropriate. The man is a peacock. Definitely a peacock. Um, and he just needs to be uh, pastel then. I just want to make sure there's no other details I want to add to him. Um, he uh, was very annoyed and wouldn't talk to her forever. Uh, it's okay, Zarina got him to talk to her. Well, he wasn't mad at Zarina, he was mad at you. Sounds like a personal problem. He needs to get over it. He can't. He's incapable of getting over any slights. And you said he looked like a girl. I did not, in fact. I said the You picture. said, who's the girl? And, and now, if the slight was against anyone, it was against the artist, not the person who was being drawn. <laughs> he he hasn't forgiven me. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just try not to be too upset about that. I um, try not to bleed all over the floor. Yeah, well, he wishes you would. <laughs> well, he can clean it up. He just wants, he just wants you to believe that's all. He's rather <laughs> offended. He's a rather emotional and unstable young man. <laughs> Fine. Freaked out. Insecure, insecure neurotic, neurotic, and emotional. emotional. <laughs> For those of you who don't recognize the reference, that's from the Italian job. I'm always sad when I reference it at work and, no one, and everyone thinks it's original. Yeah, that's... Kind it, of, it makes me sad. Kind of, yeah. But, anyway... That leads on to thank yous, and we're not well, we're gonna hit an hour by the time I'm done. But um, just want to thank. Well, first of all, I want to welcome caffeinated Gert, who is Daniela, and I'm not sure is it Brenda A C for you or Bradak for you. Sorry about the mutilation of your. Sorry, name. Brenda. Um, they both joined uh, within the past week or so. So welcome, guys. Thank you for joining. And we want to thank the people who have come back. You yes, know, we forgot definitely. We to do that at the beginning. We're glad you're back. Yes, thank you for coming back and continuing to watch us. We uh, um, enjoy having you you involved in our group. and mm -hmm. You make the group special. Without you, it wouldn't be anything. So. Exactly. It wouldn't be a group. It would just be the two of us sitting there staring at each other. And we can do that here. Exactly. <laughs> so. We don't need to do that around. So thank you very much for being a part of the group. Um, I also want to thank uh, Sun Country, Simona S. Atelier, and Polly Nitz for checking up on me on Plurk when I was sick. Uh, I was... Basically, the point where I really wasn't happy and wasn't really able to do much of anything except play on Plurk <laughs> and Facebook, so you guys kept checking in on me. Uh, so thank you for saying hi and checking on me when I was sick. Um, yeah, that's all for me. I'm done. My da -da 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 that's all, that folks. And we're under an hour. God all bless. right. God Have bless and happy knitting.